Um, yes. <laughs> Custodial interference. <laughs> In most states, it's a crime to take a child from his or her parent, yes, with the intent to interfere with that parent's physical custody of the child, yes. Now, this crime is commonly referred to as custodial interference. Oh. <laughs> In most states, the parent deprived of custody may sue the taker for damages, mm -hmm. as well as get help from the police to have the child returned. Yes. Now, you would have thought after hundreds of thousands of emails to the Port Angeles Police Department, they would have realized the crime of custodial interference, mm -hmm. and they would have returned my sons to me. But but for some reason, they, as police departments, mm -hmm. decided that they would just ignore that I did not get actual notice of the hearing. Yes. That um, the petitioner didn't sign it. Yes. Uh huh. That every protection order said mental health evaluation. Yes. And that um, the petitioner, oops, it wasn't the sheriff's department that served me in the Squim Public Library. Poop, poop. And then this, oh is a forgery ooch, of this signature, yes, uh-huh, uh-huh, and quite possibly, yes, this could be a forgery ooch, oh, look at that, of this signature, oh, now, I told you about the penalty of perjury, yes, the unlimited liability to every court of the United States, yes, the unlimited liability to every oath of office in every city, yes, tribal government, yes, county, yes, state and the federal government for the issuance of protection orders where you fraudulently use the social security number of the petitioner, mm -hmm. possibly fraudulently, fraudulently use the social security numbers of the five minors named, yes, and then of course without any personal service you used uh, my social security number fraudulently. <laughs> now, I know this is a forgery for sure, and I know that this could be, ooch, 80% probability that it is a forgery? Yes. Now, you arrested me multiple times for your fraud of issuing a protection order. Yes. Where there was no signature of the petitioner, and then there's a misrepresentation that I received actual notice? Yes. I actually didn't receive notice. <laughs> and then there was a misrepresentation that I received the opportunity to be heard. Ooch. But I didn't receive the opportunity to be heard. And then there's this credible threat to the physical safety of the protected party or children. Mm. I think there was a credible threat to the actual validity of the education that my sons received for the last seven years and four months. Because my wife wanted to cover up that she did not want to be involved in their lives. <laughs> she exploited them so as to enrich herself at their suffering of being two years behind all the other students in their age group. Oh, now that's the credible threat of child exploitation. Pooch. Fraud, pow, and custodial interference when she made up a crime on Guam, ooch, where I did seven hours of parenting classes and had my record expunged. <laughs> now, this credible threat to the actual safety of my son, pooch, pooch, I think it is abusive, yes, and misrepresents who I was and am as a father. <laughs> now, person, reasonable fear of bodily injury to the protected person or children, children. Now, I know that when I told you that she didn't sign this, I think there's a considerable credible threat, yes, to the actual uh, intellectual development of my sons, as in she was trying to retard them, pooch, because she put them in grades where they were two years behind the other students that are the same age as themselves. <laughs> now, maybe today you'd like to get sued for custodial interference for not having me have notice and opportunity to be heard in 2011, <laughs> and then not having notice and opportunity to be heard in 2012, <laughs> and then having issued three no-contact orders at the same time, ooch, and then issuing a no-contact protection order, yeah, where the petitioner didn't petition the court. P -p 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 now, I'm wanting to put you all in prison. Do you understand, police department? <laughs> Maybe you'd like to enforce the fucking laws today. Now, uh, if a parent without physical custody who may or may not have this removes a child, refers to the child, uh, and it is considered kidnapping, class B felony, and now it could be class A felony, yes, 
or child concealment in addition to custodial interference. Yes. Now, I want you to return to me, my sons, um, because you've refused to enforce the laws. <laughs> then I want you <laughs> to go to prison for being prosecuted for the known fraud. Yes. Perjury, mm -hmm. misrepresentation, mm -hmm. and the uh, credible threat of their intellectual ab ability, yes, uh, being uh, disabled, yes, as in you have not allowed my sons to be academically challenged for the last seven years and four months. Mm -hmm. Now, in many states, as in all 50 states, U.S. territories and possessions of the United States, you're interfering with my custody of my sons is a felony. Mm -hmm. And when she took them from Guam and moved here, when we were residents of Guam, your issuance of a protection order, yes, actually does fit the definition of interfering with a parent's custody without any jurisdiction or authority of law. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, imminent bodily harm to myself or themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, this mediation that you thought I was going to go through when I told you it was against the law? Yeah, I'm not. Pooch. I'm going to sue you and have you imprisoned. Pooch. Could you get me all the mediators? Because I've been to arbitration, Shannon Miller. Pooch. <laughs> Keith Ketterling. Pooch. It should be a crime to kidnap a citizen's children when you don't protect the due process rights of those that are family. Bull, bull, Mr. Smith of Lee and Hayes, District Court Judge of Spokane County. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why don't you get me every judge of all the counties and all the states of the United States and the Supreme Court justices in all 50 states? Because I'd like to know what the fuck they're thinking right now. Now, I did have an attorney that I still owe $40 to. Yes. You just worked for Lee and Hayes when we were on Guam, Heidi. You remember Tiffany? <laughs> Used to call me on the phone and say, well, you still owe us. <laughs> I told Heidi when we were living at the Guam Airport Hotel that I called Mr. Smith. Let me see. There's a Superior Court judge in Spokane or is a District Court judge. Um, how do you remember that attorney that we got when... Um, yeah, the, the garnishment, the wage garnishment you never received as Jane Doe Budnick, yes, where they destroyed that, well, approximately $80,000 worth of debt, yes. Could you call Lee and Hayes and K&L Gates, William Gates Sr.'s a law firm? Yeah, I've been wanting to sue William Gates Sr. and Bill and Melinda Gates, pooch. Just get me every attorney at Lee and Hayes and K&L Gates that thinks that I'm still going to pay him the $40, yes. And then Mr. Smith, yes, there was a Mr. Smith that we went to when we lived at Airway Heights where your attorney, Tolman, yes, you remember your sister Lori Kingery, <laughs> where he said, well, we're not quite sure you'll get any of uh, June's inheritance, June Irving's inheritance when she dies. <laughs> I'm going to want to sue Tolman as an attorney, Ooch. and then there's Mr. Brown, thank you for that, Ooch. you remember the attorney that represented you when you divorced Tim Hodges? Yes! <laughs> Just give me every fucking attorney right now. No, I know. I'm not going through mediation. It's going to be lawsuits and imprisonment for each and every individual. Yes, because I emailed Canal Gates. Uh oh. I told them I wanted some pro bono representation, but they never responded. So now every attorney can have a lawsuit. How's that sound? How's that sound? No, I am having a difficult time with law enforcement not cooperating with me. How to find a family law mediator. Why don't you get me all the mediators that know of child abduction? Yeah, custodial interference. Yes, perjury, fraud, poop. Kidnapping? Uh. And then the abuse of my son's intellectual abilities for not challenging them in public school for the last seven years and four months. Now, I know mediators are very skilled at getting parents who are bitter enemies. I'm not bitter. 
I don't have any unforgiveness towards Heidi. Pooch. I just been trying to get my last name back. Pooch. Then there's that whole issue of me having custody of my sons. Pooch. You're gonna make me go to a cell hearing on January fourth. <laughs> that happens to be the sixteenth birthday of my freshman son, Bishop, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> that should be driving one of freshmen in high school in Quilcene High School. I don't know the last time. In fact, give me the driver's licenses. Of all of those that are really mm, overachievers, that they get to drive a vehicle to school when they're freshmen in high school so that all their freshman friends can think how special they are. <laughs> I'm sure that Bishop loved being two years behind all the friends he has as freshmen <laughs> He can drive all his freshman friends to school when he gets his driver's license. <laughs>